Okay. Beyond them. Okay. So, so oh. we're suspicious that we're being followed. We had some cars uh, just suspiciously looking at us. So we're not sure if we can make it into the turkey farm, but we're gonna we're gonna go see what we can do. Okay, we just arrived at the next dairy farm. We'll go inside and get some footage. They poison the pigeons and kill the pigeons in the dairy farms here as well, so they're killing other animals here too. All right, and behind us here in these sheds is turkey farm. So there's looks like thousands of turkeys in these sheds over here. So dairy farm on one side, turkey slave farm on the other. Behind us is a massive pile of cow dung, just piss and feces. And this is another dairy farm and it stinks like horrible horrible. These cows, they have to lay in their own feces all day and that's why they get infections as soon as they have a little cut and the, the crap goes into this cut. This is how they get an infection. Just There's a little pigeon that has drowned in this cow shit. How horrible. How horrible. What a hell hole this is here. This is what people's milk comes from, like milk machine slaves just resting all day in their own waste. Bacteria laden hellhole. Oh, I feel sick. Okay. Um, so you've done a lot of these farms, yeah. We, we actually come to a farm last year with you and James and Ed and stuff. Nothing's changed? Nothing changed because we are Roy and I, we document 95% of all the dairy farms in Israel. Yeah. Uh, everything is the same and you know, more shit, less shit, that's it. But they are all suffering. All the time I'm saying to people, I keep the moral thing side, okay? But look from where you're eating. Yeah. This is where you're eating and you drink from that. <laughs> All these cows are numbered, they're branded, they are treated as property. People want to know when I talk about property, their life doesn't belong to them, their body doesn't belong to them, they belong to someone else, okay? They are products to be exploited, to be used, to be killed whenever the farmer wants, to have the life sucked out of them, the children stolen from them. As soon as you are labelled property, they can treat you as they, they wish. So these ones here look really young. These look like little calves. Just little children here. Yeah. They're just beautiful souls that are just living hell. That's it. The dairy industry is nothing but slavery. Pure exploitation. There's no other way of explaining it. These animals are not free. They're exploited for their reproductive organs. They're used for their bodies, and there's prolonged suffering. I think that comes to mind here is just prisoners. Like, they're all tagged. They've all got these things around their neck, which they're, they're like the new electronic devices which detect how much milk they're producing. All those sheds, all, that, all the way down, filled with cows. And they lie to the public, just like in the UK, Australia, America. They lie to the public pretending like this is kosher, it's humane. Put all these ridiculous stamps on the food. Absolute load of lies. What if the farmer looked after the animal a little bit better? Would that make it okay? What do you think? <laughs> this poor little baby here. So sick, dying, flies eating out the eyes, suffering, and this is their life. She's so sick, this cow. This poor animal is suffering. And over here in the corner there, there's a little calf. 
it's their life, it's their body, it's their milk, it's their babies. We, it's not about us at all. No. This is it. Yeah. It's about them. Yeah. Yeah, we can continue. Yeah. So put now the camera and we continue. Inside. Put the camera, hide the camera, sweetie. Okay, so after spending around six months in prison myself, also spending about five days in isolation, I know how it feels to be locked away in a cage. And the difference is, I probably deserve to be in prison when I was carrying these firearms and, you know, using these drugs and getting up to no good. These animals are born into prisons. They've done nothing wrong. They're tagged, labelled, numbered. These innocent little babies, look. All they want to do is suckle on their mother. Look at this. Born into prisons. These bars. Like prisoners. Innocent beings. Innocent animals. Horrible. We treat them like they've done something wrong. We treat them worse than the worst criminals on earth. Even the worst criminals. They will not be slaughtered at the end of their life unless they're on death row. These animals will be used for their body and slaughtered, turned into burgers. Oh my God, look at this little baby here. Oh my God, look. They can barely turn around in here. Look at this little sweetheart. <laughs> and the horns, see this on the, on the horns here? They put some of this caustic powder stops their horns from growing. Oh my. A small infant as a prisoner. Look. They just want their mum. They're kept in cages like... No animal should be kept in a cage like this. Especially babies. Just across the road here, not even 10 metres away, are the mother cows. How horrific to be separated so close too. So they can hear each other. Look at this little angel. And what makes it even more disgraceful and unnecessary is that we have vegan alternatives to all of these things. Amazing vegan alternatives that don't involve this pure madness, look at it. I mean, little babies. Little babies, that, like little puppy dogs that need to be cared for. And they're stuck in these cages with no one. How horrible. We have a problem when we show people, oh, horrific farms, shit everywhere, tumours. And they go, okay, on the, my milk carton, it's a green pasture. Oh, Duffel heat's better, I'll buy the free range. No, we have, no, there's no good way. The only time a cow expresses anything that looks like violence is when she's having her calf taken off of her. These animals are gentle, peaceful beings and they need us, they need us. Even if it's going to be clean yeah. and she's going, yo, she's smiling all day long, you're going to take her baby. And I became a vegan because of this. Yeah. I saw in my eyes how they take a baby from his mother. Yeah. And that's it. Hello, angel face. Hello. Hey. It's okay, darling. You miss your mommy. You miss your mommy. At the age of 14 months, this yeah. is the first time they, they get her, get all of them pregnant. Yeah. But up, and, up until 14 months, they don't let them to eat as long as they want. No. They're starving them. What is this? Just bamboo or something? Yes, and they're not going to eat it. So they just feed them crap for now and they don't need to give them nutrition because they're not producing milk at the moment. Exactly. So when you feel that feeling of helplessness, does that give you fire to do your activism? I have fire to do activism because I'm doing this yeah. for the last past seven years and yeah. I see the victims all the time. Yeah. I'm with them. I'm document 
all the time for the last past seven years just to be with them because this give me you know all the time the to know that I can't let go. I'm doing it because I know that if I'm going to let go, a lot of activism just will die. Mm. You understand? Yeah. And this is have to. So you feel like you do. feel like you have a responsibility, of course, to the animals and to the movement itself to keep going and the animals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much.